Welcome everyone and today I've got to show you how to start with Space Smash. Space Smash just entered Genesis phase. Um, Genesis is like a, a better stage before the, the main release. So it's like they're still sorting out the latest bugs and some other improves. So in this video I'm going to show you how to start with this map, how to set up and how to create a massive hard drive. Let's get started. Finally, I'm gonna be using this bad boy. <laughs> to start mining, you need at least 256 gigabytes. If you don't have that, don't worry, I'm gonna show you a way to put all your old drives together and create a massive space. To create a pool, so, I plugged in two hard drives. This will not work with USB sticks, so it needs to be proper SSDs or hard drives. And now we're going to create a pool. Go to control panel, find storage spaces, and create a new pool. Select the hard drives, so it will be one and two, and create the pool. Select simple, give a name if you want, space mesh, select the letter if you want, I like Z for some whatever reason, and create the space. Once they're done, you can see now I have a massive hard drive with 572. Please note, on a pool, if one hard drive fails, they all fail and you have to redo the whole POS. And now that we have our space all sorted out, let's install Space Mesh. To start with the Space Mesh, first you need a Space Mesh application, or as we call it, SMAP. So go to GitHub and get SMAP. Find the release you want, in my case, Windows. Always get the latest. So at the time of this video will be 104. Select your destination and install the app. And run. If you have a firewall, be sure to allow the internet. So you have guides you, and everything. You can open an existing wallet, but I'm going to do from nothing. So let's create a wallet and a node. Standard wallet. Make sure it's on main network. And this is your wallet now. You can refresh to generate a new one if for whatever reason you didn't like that number. <laughs> Next, create your passport. Click Next. And copy words and save it in a safe place. You're gonna need this for the next setup. Next, so we need to know what the order are. So need is gonna be 11. Seven will be twelve. Dust will be ten. And finally, brown will be number two. All right, all done. We don't need this for now because you need some smash to do this. So, network is on green. All running good. 
Don't worry about this, we don't need this now. Let's start smashing. So this is gonna be what you want it. So I'm gonna put on my newly created disk, will be space smash. It's best to create a new folder. Space one. If something goes wrong, you can go back, create a new folder, and will always be safe because it needs to be empty. Here we go, 572. Click next. Let's run all benchmarks. This will suggest um, a more efficient way to generate your POS. So we're looking for speed. Okay, the speed, mine, this one is the faster and I only need 256 for start, just for the example. So here you can choose how, how many you want. You can choose the size here and put how much you want. But you need to consider that you wanna be ready before the next epoch, which will happen in uh, 12 days from the, the make of this video. So now here you can choose your processor unit so I got Intel GPU I got my CPU and obviously Nvidia will be much faster and everything else click next that's my wallet next and here is the summary of what you want and create data And now I'm started the initialization. In here you'll see how much time is being gone through. You can see the next epoch will happen on July 28th. So you want to be ready at least 12 hours before this. Here we go. And if you go to my new hard drive, you can see started creating the files. If you get yourself into trouble, join us on Discord. Uh, there's a whole community there, always ready to help everybody. I'm also there, but uh, I'm not part of the team, but uh, I like to help everybody. This is the main setup you need to get you started with the Space Smash. Be sure to have your computer on 24-7, or you might miss some of the rewards. Also, rewards will only start to happen after we start on Epoch 1. All the links you need will be on the description. Uh, drop me a comment if you have uh, any doubts or any problems. I'll try to do my best to help you around. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.